Okay, the question is Pokemon Master, and uh, this is an easy level question. And we have given some problem statement. Let's see the problem statement. Uh, Sara has a poke ball with her, and here are Sara has a poke ball with her. Okay, and there are B Pokemon in front of Sara. Okay, considering each Pokemon takes one Pokeball, okay, your task is to tell Sara if she can catch all the Pokemons or not. Okay, since uh, this is a, a functional problem, so we just need to complete this function. We don't need to write the whole code uh, here. Okay, so uh what we need to do in this we have to return one if sara can catch all the pokemon else we have to return zero okay 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 so in this case uh we have to check if uh, sara has a a pokeball with her so we need to check the condition that is if and the a that is pokeball is greater than or equals to pokemon so we can find if the sara can catch the uh, pokemon or not so uh, is question mein humko check karna hai ki jo pokeball hai wo pokemon se jyada hai kya matlab greater than hai kya a, a is greater than or equals to b we have to check that so uh, we can do this using uh, either if else condition or either ternary operators so uh, so uh, so so it's better to do this by using the ternary operators because it takes a less space than if else condition so uh, okay okay so first now let's try to understand what is a ternary operator okay so the ternary operator is a ternary operator is also called the as a conditional operator and it takes the three arguments or it or it takes a uh, three operands so so mm, we can we can use the ternary operator in place of if else or even switch conditions using nested ternary operators yes so uh, instead of using if else it's better to use the ternary operator because it because the ternary operators or conditional operator takes less space and helps to write the if if else statement in the shortest way which is possible so uh, so first let's try to understand the syntax of uh, ternary operator okay so the syntax of ternary operator is first there is a variable equals to then there is a expression expression one okay so after expression one there is a question mark and after that after the question mark there is a expression 2 expression 2 and after expression 2 there is a semicolon and after semicolon there is expression 3 okay okay that is uh, this is the syntax of ternary operator okay this is the syntax of ternary 
ऑपरेटर ओके टर्नरी ऑपरेटर सिंटैक्स ओके दिस इज द सिंटैक्स ऑफ टर्नरी ऑपरेटर एंड similarly we can do this by using the if else statement like here first if condition then here is expression 1 expression expression 1 then here सम वेरिएबल इक्वल्स टू एक्सप्रेशन टू ओके ओके एंड देन एल्स कंडीशन देयर इज सम वेरिएबल वेरिएबल इक्वल्स टू ओके expression 3 okay okay so we can do this by using like this as well by using if else condition but if else condition takes more place more space than ternary operator and we can do uh, the same thing by using the ternary operator in shortest way uh, for example if we uh, need to write some condition or if we write some need to write some code like uh, we have to check uh like if num1 we have given some num1 equals to 10 then num2 equals to 20 and we have to check if the number 1 is greater than number 2 then we we need to we have to do the addition and if number 2 is greater than number 1 then we have to do the subtraction so in this uh, so we can here we can write num1 it's greater than num2 so if this is true if this is true then simply here we can write system dot out dot print and here we can do num1 plus num2 okay here we can if number 1 is greater greater than number 2 then we have we have to do addition and if number 2 is greater than number 1 then we have to do subtraction so we here we have write the condition for addition uh, so in else we can write the condition for subtraction so here we write system dot out dot print and here we can do the subtraction number 1 minus number 2 okay so so to perform this operation we we have to do this number of code like that number of code but we can do the same by using the ternary operator okay so let's see how we can do that so so okay we can do that using ternary operator so here number 1 is 10 number 2 equals to 
and we can do by using a ternary operator or conditional operator. So here we'll take variable that is we have taken any random variable that is res. Okay, so here, so first is expression one. So we'll write the expression, first expression that is number one is greater than number two. Okay, so if this condition is true and after the expression one, we have to here is question mark. That, that is the syntax of ternary operator. So we have written the first expression. Now we have to write the second expression after the question mark. So, so uh, here in first condition, what we have to do if number one is greater than number two. So we have to do the addition. So we'll here. So here as well. If number one is greater than number two, then we can do the addition like number one plus number two. Okay. That if number one is greater, then we have written this condition. And after the second expression, what we have to do, there is a semicolon. Uh, colon sorry and after colon we have to write the third expression that is for like subtraction so we'll write here num one minus num two okay so so see uh, we don't in this case uh, in this uh, by using terminal operator we don't need to write the that much so much of code we just uh, we can do the same uh, operation by using a single line. Okay, so okay, so in this case, uh, how uh, the ternary operator will works? Like here, we'll give the some condition or expression was uh, expression one. So every time this expression will check or this condition will check and if this condition is true then only this condition will execute if the expression one is true then only expression two is executes else if this condition is false then this uh, exp expression three will be executed. Okay, so that means if expression one is true, then only execute expression two okay then only execute expression two else Else, if expression one false, then then expression three will will be execute 
state okay if the expression one is true then then only expression two will be executed then if expression one is true that means this if this is true then only the expression two that is will executed else if the expression one is false then expression three will be executed okay so that is the ternary operator okay so let's try to code or let's try to complete our assignment question okay so let's try to complete the function or write the code here we'll write uh, here we'll take uh, we can do it by using ternary operator so first uh, what is the syntax of ternary operator first we'll take one variable that is variable we have taken variable equals to ex the expression first that is expression one so in this situation we have to check if if pokeball is greater than equals to pokemon so then only sarah can catch it okay so a is greater than or equals to b okay that is our first expression so after first expression there is a question mark okay so after question mark what we have to do we have to return one if sara can catch that means we have written the condition if this condition is true then we have to print this or else we have to print zero okay so here we'll write the zero semicolon and we'll simply return k and okay now let's try to run our code first input copy click on input let's give the input four and three and let's run the code and now let's see what it's showing okay there is uh, no k 
our variable is res okay so we'll try to run okay the output is showing one see uh, the sample output or required output is one and our output is also one now let's try to run the second test case that is four and six four and six let's try to run a required output is zero let's see our output see our output is also zero that means it is correct so how this will uh, this is this is executed in first first input is four and three so here in our condition a is greater than equals to b so a is four uh, is greater than or equals to what is b b is three so uh, this condition is, will check first this condition will check expression one will check that is four is greater than equals to three that condition is true so our expression two will execute so our expression two is one so one uh, our expression two will execute and what is our expression one is one and here we have written res so that one will be returned okay so like this we can do that okay so uh, now let's try to submit our code and we'll see our test cases will pass or not okay just now let's see all our test cases is passed that's it thank you for watching the video